Princess Anne is in the procession following Her Majesty's coffin, which is draped in the Royal Standard of Scotland. The princess can be seen looking somber as she jade journeys with her mother away from Balmoral for the last time. Accompanying the princess is Sir Tim Lawrence, the minister for Cratty Kirk and a representative of the Lord Chamberlain. Her Majesty's final journey began from her home in the Scottish Highlands to Edinburgh on Sunday. Crowds lined the roads to pay tribute to the Queen in the first of a series of solemn events leading to Her Majesty's funeral on Monday, September 19. At 10 a.m., Queen Elizabeth's oak coffin, covered by the Royal Standard of Scotland and a wreath of flowers, was carried by six Balmoral gamekeepers and placed in the hearse. A short time later, the hearse emerged from the gates of the castle, heading to the Scottish capital. The Queen died at her summer residence on Thursday aged 96, after 70 years on the throne. The castle was said to be Her Majesty's favorite residence and is thought to be a place where the Queen could sometimes put aside the rigorous duties of the monarch to enjoy time with her family in the Scottish countryside. The Queen's death has drawn tears and tributes, not just from her family but from members of the public and leaders in Britain and around the world. On the evening of her death, thousands of mourners came to Buckingham Palace to show their respects. Elizabeth Alexander, aged 69 and born on the day the Queen was crowned in 1953, was waiting in the nearby village of Ballader to see the coffin go by. She said, I think it will be very emotional for anyone saying goodbye, you don't know how you to know how you're going to feel when you see it. It's like a family member, it overwhelms, the sadness, that she's not going to be with us. The cortege will slowly make its way from Balmoral Castle through small villages and towns on its way to Edinburgh, allowing mourners to pay tribute as the Queen's coffin passes. The journey will take around six hours. The coffin will be taken to the throne room in the palace of Holyrood House. Staff at the palace will be able to pay their respects to Her Majesty. Tomorrow the King and Queen Consort will arrive in Edinburgh to join a procession from Holyrood House to St. Giles Cathedral. The coffin will be carried to the cathedral top by the Crown of Scotland. Members of the public will then be given the opportunity to view the coffin and pay tribute to Her Majesty. On Tuesday evening, September 13, a hearse will take Her Majesty's coffin to Edinburgh Airport where the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, will accompany the coffin on the flight to Raff Northolt. It will then be carried by the state hearse to Buckingham Palace where members of the royal household can pay their respects to Her Majesty. On September 14, a procession will carry Her Majesty's coffin to the Palace of Westminster. The Queen will lie in state at Westminster Hall for four full days. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to come to the hall to pay their respects to Her Majesty. The Queen's funeral will take place on Monday, September 19 and is expected to be attended by heads of state from around the globe. The funeral has been declared a public bank holiday by King Charles III. 